What's going on, world? My name is Serial Sensei, and today um doing something a little different. Um, I know normally I've been playing through Star Fox Zero. I will resume that uh, next week. But I wanted to make a quick little video, uh, sort of a little bootleg guide of how I beat uh, the final boss of Sekiro, uh, defeating Genichiro and Ishin the Sword Saint, which if you've been playing through Sekiro, you you know, if you're stuck on this fight, you you already know it's a pain. It's, 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 it's a beast of a fight <laughs> to get through. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe my tips can maybe help somebody out, um, especially if you were like me and you didn't really have a lot of items. Um, I did not have any prosthetics or any fancy moves. It was me, my sword, and a couple of potions. And that was all that I had. <laughs> so I'm going to try to talk through this video. Uh, the original video is actually what I'm watching. I'm just going to kind of overdub over it. Um, but if you want to see that video in full, I'll leave a description uh, in the channel below so you can check that out. Um, but I'm just going to talk over uh, the video. I'm going to leave the volume down because in the original video I was talking a little bit. Um, but I will talk through my tips and, you know, hopefully it can help somebody out. Let's go. So first you start with Genichiro. And this fight actually isn't too hard. He always starts off with his charge swing, which you're going to see in a few seconds. When he does that... As soon as you see him start charging up, just go ahead and get out the way. Ain't no need to try to do nothing crazy. Just get out of the way of it. Um, for the rest of this fight, I try to keep keep up on him. Don't let him breathe. Um, but I don't... I kind of stagger my hits. I don't go bum rush and just button mash. I swing and I wait like half a second before I swing again. Because it tends to like interrupt him when he's going to try to do something else. And it also gives me time to kind of read what he's about to do after I swing. Um, he tends to pretty much have two specials. He's either going to do the thrust move. If you see him step the leg back, he's going for the thrust. Um, you can carry counter that. If he does the, the sweep, jump over, jump on his head, boom, boom. As you can see, got that, got that damage down real quick. Um, this fight, Mr. Ishin the Sword Saint. So I did a lot of running, little, little, little track start performance, but it helped me out. Now, luckily, <laughs> in the first form, as tough as it, it can be, because he does do a lot of damage, um, he doesn't do that many different moves. So what I tend to do is just kind of run around him, let him swing, and uh, once he's done swinging, I'll just go in and get my hits. Um, and the, the strategy is just to get the posture damage as high as you can. I'm not worried about the health bar. Um... Anytime, just a couple of notes, anytime like he just did, anytime you see him do the kick, he's following up with the thrust attack. Um, I tend to have this bad habit of just sidestepping it. <laughs> I should be McCary countering it. But whatever works for you, whatever stops you, my, my goal is to win the fight and get land as many hits without getting hit. Um, so, you know, you want to McCary counter the thrust when you can. Um, like Genichiro, I, I try to stagger my attacks. I don't just go bum rush crazy mashing buttons. I kind of stagger to see if he's about to parry me or something crazy. Um, you want to keep your parry game on point. Parry games do good posture damage. As you can see, we're getting the posture damage up pretty quick. So once you kind of get a feel to learn how to read his attacks, you can parry right, get your hits in, get that posture damage up quick. The second form, get out the way, let him do this little animation, run in. Now, this form, you need to dodge that 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 sweep, that, that jump, sweep and attack thing. <laughs> That moves the beast. When he hits the apex of the jump, duck. I messed it up right there. But when he's at the apex of the uh, of the jump, you want to dash in so you can duck under it. Um, you can kind of get a couple of hits in. Kind of like the first form. Um, I tend to run around a lot. Um, I didn't really feel comfortable going just head up with him, uh, or I, I kind of do it in small spurts. There you go, duck under, like just just like I just did. But I um. Do a lot of running around. When he does that, oh, he killed me. But <laughs> when he does that move, that attack sequence where he does the little run, um, I tend to either do two things, which didn't work right there, but I either run towards him and try to hit him before he does his next move, or if I don't feel like I'm going to make the run, I'll just back up, let him do whatever he's going to do, and then I'll rush back in when I can. Um, but... Kind of like the first form, stay up on him when you can, you know, because you want to get that posture damage up. Like I said, just like that, I ran forwards towards him, got a couple hits in. 
just like the first form, you want to keep your parry game on point. Um, I did kind of find it harder to read his attacks <laughs> in this this second stage of the fight. Um, it might take you a little bit to get it, but you know, eventually it'll it'll make sense. Be aware also that sometimes when you run away, he as you saw a few seconds ago, he will pull out the blicky. Uh, so you gotta you gotta keep him feet moving when he does his that like jumping attack. I tend to just run away and stay away until he finishes his animation and then rush in, get a couple hits in. You know, if he does this little jump sweep, I'll I'll duck under. If he does something else, I'll just run away <laughs> and then, you know, rush back in. I, I kind of just, you want to pick your spots. Um, you want to be aggressive, but not too aggressive because you want to keep your posture damage very consistent. So you want to rush in when you can, when you feel safe feeling safe in this fight is kind of wild but you get what i'm saying <laughs> but you know rush in and get your hits when you can this third form is nasty it's very nasty but it's kind of similar to the second form but you got to worry about the thunder and please for all that is holy parry the thunder it does so much posture damage do that reflection every single time i think it's jump uh l1 repel with right uh r1 please master that um, other than that, I kind of repeat what I do on the what I've done on the second phase. Um, he does do a couple of extra little charge moves like that. Don't get in the way of those like I just did. That was a dumb idea. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> Don't do that. When he does those, just get out the way and then get your hits in when he's done. Um, but I kind of repeat what I did on the second phase, to be honest. Um, but you just got to be a little more careful. He does add a couple of variations to his moves and his specials can get kind of wild. And once again, keep keep the parry game on point. He just landed this combo on me. That was a lucky sidestep. I ain't gonna hold you. I was in I was in rare form. <laughs> keep your healing gourds on 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 deck. They definitely saved me. I had six of them going into this. Um, yeah. See, wait for his animation to finish. Rush in, get my hits. Love when he does the thunder. The thunder. As long as you can repel it, it does so much posture damage. And parry game on point. Got that posture damage up. Bow. Got him out of there. Game over. That's how we do it. So I know that might have went by kind of fast. If you need to rewind the video, you can go ahead and, you know, rewind, listen to the tips. If you want to watch the full video um, to just study the film, you know, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. Oh, this felt so good. This felt so good. But... I'm going to stop it right here. I don't want to spoil the ending for y'all. Got him up out the paint, though. I hope you get to experience that. You deserve that. I want that for you. To make a summary, controlled aggression is what I like to call my strategy. Get your hits when you can. Be consistent with your hits. But you got to have a parry game on point. You got to be ready. You got to know how to read what he's about to do. When you see that that red special move, you know you either need to move out the way, or if it's a move you can McCary counter, hit the McCary counter at all times when you can. Um, because you want that, you want to get that posture damage up as much as you possibly can. But I hope you found this somewhat helpful. Uh maybe you can mix it in with your strategy you got of your own and it'll help out. But I appreciate you guys for watching and I will catch y'all on the next video.